Allahumma rahmatullah. I have told that if we follow Islam, we can build a moral society. You see, we have 54 Islamic countries. Even we have 90-95 percent Muslims over there. They follow Islam only. Why we can't build moral society in those countries like Pakistan? You know, Afghanistan. They have a civil war, war between the fight between the Shias and uh, Sunni Muslims. Why we can't build moral society over there? Even though they have follow Islam, we have 90-95 Muslims over there. That is, you have told that uh, if we follow Islam, no, you mean to say that uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, these countries are following Islam, but there's yeah. still civil wars civil and going fighting on, among Muslims like Shia and Sunni. Yeah, Sunni. Why you Why are we can't build moral society over there? Even though we have 90% no, 90 95 90 Muslims yeah, over there. First of all, Pakistan is not following Islam. Are you joking? I am saying not pa Pakistan we have 90% Muslim. Muslim huh? means follow Islam. But Muslim, what Muslim? What Muslim? I remember 15 years ago, 15 years ago, it's not today and I heard it's worse, 15 years ago I remember going to a wedding in Pakistan. A wedding where men and women were mixing freely. Where the bride was dancing on the stage with all the male members of the family dancing on the stage. I am sure somewhere around, we probably hidden in a corner then, but I hear now it's open drinking alcohol. What Muslim? Are we talking about? This was 15 years ago. Now I hear it's even worse. Oh yes, their Islam. When they, the bride and the groom are walking to the car, they're holding the Quran over their head for blessing. That Islam? That's not Islam. What Islam is that? That's exactly the thing I'm talking about. That's why the Muslims are in such a mess. Because of this nonsense, this hypocrisy, this actually they are insulting the Quran by doing that. They're in, amongst all of this haram, they think that the Quran holding it over their head is going to bless them because they're holding it. What, what is that? Where did they get this from? So I don't know what we're talking about. In fact, this is the problem. You see, the Muslim world itself is so far from Islam. So many you find here in India. Oh, I know it's not a Muslim country, but there are lots of Muslims here. But I don't know what sort of Muslim. Most of them go to the Darga and they call upon some dead person in the grave. And they think that by talking to a dead person, they're going to have their needs fulfilled. What's the difference between that and worshipping an idol? There's no difference, believe me. It's shirk. I've seen it myself with my own eyes. I'm praying in the masjid. The adhan goes. The people are praying in the masjid. And the people in the darga are not coming to the mosque to pray. They're still going around the darga and making all their whatever the things they do. What's that? That's not Islam. You go to many countries. You find... Pakistan, you want to see Islam in Pakistan. You know in England, in every street corner we have a pub. You know what's a pub? You know what's a pub? Like a bar, you know a place where you sit and drink alcohol. Yeah? Yes? In Pakistan, believe me, they have something worse than that. Yes, worse. On every street they have a picture of a palm. Everywhere you see it, hanging from the windows. They have the picture of a palm. What's that advertising? Something worse than drinking alcohol. An invitation to disbelieve in Allah. That they're going to read your hand and tell your fortune. Shirk. It's shirk. Whoever believed, the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whoever visits a fortune teller out of curiosity, Allah will not accept their prayers for 40 days. Whoever believes in the fortune teller has disbelieved in Allah and His Messenger. That includes, by the way, horoscopes. Yet, in, in, you see in Pakistan, a picture everywhere of a hand. Worse than a pub. Worse than a pub. It is better to drink alcohol than make shirk with Allah. Yes. So this is the Muslim countries. You will not find one except they are not doing magic and shirk and kufr. Or except maybe one or two you will find. So this is the state of the Muslims. So no wonder we're in the confusion and the chaos. So these are not good examples. 
And this is really, in fact, the very reason that I'm saying why we are in such a big mess.